Hey everyone and welcome to this tutorial on fundamentals of quantum computing with Cascade. Data is about executing quantum circuits with Cascade in Python. And this tutorial, you will learn how to execute quantum circuits with Cascade in Python. Your feedback is matters. If you found this tutorial helpful, please like, share, and subscribe for more quantum computing and AI topics. Leave your questions in the comments below. Quantum computing represents a revolutionary paradigm with the potential to solve complex problems that are intricable to classical computers. One of the primary platforms for quantum computing development and simulation is Qiskit, which is an open source quantum computing software development framework from IBM with its powerful features, Qiskit enables us to create, manipulate, and execute quantum circuits on simulators or the real world quantum devices. By the end of this story, you will be able to understand quantum circuit execution, build a simple quantum circuit, choose the right backing simulator, execute the quantum circuit, and analyze the results. Before getting started to uh, create a quantum circuit, you need to install the software development framework, which is QSKIT Air. This framework supports uh, the QS QSM simulator as a backend simulator. So you need to install this using pip install QSKIT Air on your Jupyter Notebook or Google Colab. Then you can import uh, some functions and classes from the QSKIT module, air, execute, and quantum circuit. And now we're going to create and execute simple quantum circuits. Uh, to do this, you can first create a simple quantum circuit using the quantum circuit class from QSKID. And this uh, quantum circuit function or class takes two parameters, integer parameters. Those are, the, for example, two by two uh, bits. The first two represents the two qubits and the quantum circuit. And the second uh, number two represents or specifies the two classical bits. Now we're going to uh, use the Hadamard gate, and I can use the, I mean, I can rename these two quantum circuits, not quantum register. You can watch a previous re uh, tutorial about uh, quantum register and classical register. I have uh, demonstrated uh, practically using. Uh, QSKIT and Python. So now quantum computing had uh, the first position, so-called Hadamard gate, or which is called H gate. And the second one is the C naught or controlled controlled knots. Uh, because I have a multi-qubit uh, quantum circuit and uh, I can use a Hadamard gate and the controlled knot gate. So the first is a controlled qubit and the second position uh, uh, qubit is the target qubit in this uh, controlled knot gate. Okay, now I'm going to use the measure operation that measures the result of the quantum circuit. One, again, there is also one. And going to choose the air backing which is the backing 
So the simulator in this case, I'm going to use is air dot get back in. Uh, this simulator is called KSM simulator, which is used as a backing. Now going to execute the circuit on the simulator. So that is called the, the jobs that going to execute the circuit on the simulator I have used as a backend and pass the simulator. And here going to use shorts, uh, which the number of uh, times that the uh, simulator is going to execute. And finally, get the result from this. So that could be then using gets count method. So I can pass QC there. And here is that. And finally, going to print out the results to analyze. OK, uh, let me explain this. Uh, lines of code. The first, I have created a quantum circuit with two qubits by two classical bits. And uh, also includes a Hadamard gate and a controlled NOT gate. And also a measurement operation, which is measure that measures the result of quantum circuits the classical bits or qubits. I also choose the uh, KSM simulator as the backend for simulating uh, using air.get backend. I then execute the quantum circuits on the chosen simulator and I use execute method. And this uh, execute method, I also pass shortest as a parameter, which specifies the number of times that the circuit is executed to collect the statistics. So I just specified uh, 1024. I then retrieved the uh, count results or the result counters using gate counters method and printed the result to uh, analyze uh, the quantum circuits. Now let me run this code and let's see the output of the circuit. This is uh, the output of this uh, circuit I have constructed or created. So uh, this circuit, the result of this circuit has two qubits. Uh, so it is the keys 00 and keys 11. The keys uh, 00, 00 represented the possible measurement outcomes. And the quantum computing, this 00, 00 uh, can signify that both qubits were measured as the state uh, 0. And 11 also uh, represents that both qubits were measured as the state one. So the values in the uh, zero zero indicate that the frequency or count of each measurement outcomes. Therefore, uh, the zero zero was observed with five zero six times, and one one was observed with five one eight times during the execution of the quantum circuit. So this is simple quantum circuit. You can create your own simple quantum uh, circuit using QSKIT in Python program on Jupyter Notebook. By leveraging the capabilities of QSKIT, 
you can gain valuable insights into the principles of quantum computing through the execution of quantum circuits. This practical engagement serves as an essential starting point for comprehending the potential of quantum computing and its applications in various fields such as algorithm optimization, cryptography, machine learning, and artificial intelligence. So your feedback is invaluable. If you found this tutorial helpful, please like, share, and subscribe. Leave your comments or questions in the comments below. Stay tuned for more quantum computing and AI tutorials by subscribing to my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.